When you think about NDOT, you probably think about our roads and bridges. But do you think about our waterways? pH sensor value is 7.91. So we're, um, we're here to check on the site and uh, clean the sensors uh, to make sure that they're uh, gathering uh, valid water quality data. So we're cleaning the sand because um, we haven't uh, make sure the sensors are collecting uh, good data. We've had quite a few storms and uh, the sensors tend to collect a lot of uh, suspended sediment will settle on them. So we're going to grab a measurement of uh, the water depth. We have a pressure transducer that is currently deployed and I'm going to get a physical measurement of the water depth to make sure that we're getting good data from our pressure transducer. So this uh, gathering the depth data is important because it helps determine when to uh, trigger the auto samplers to collect um, water quality samples uh, to characterize storm events. So it looks like our reading here is uh, 13 and 3 eighths and I'll pull out our pressure transducer. We have deployed in here and this uh, gathers depth data. So when uh, the stream level uh, rises or falls, we're able to keep track of it remotely uh, via this sensor. So the depth is important to gather because uh, it's important to know how the stream responds to a storm event. We're able to track this remotely so that we can know when to determine when, the, uh, when to gather our stormwater samples. This helps the general public by understanding the impacts of NDOT roads and maintenance facilities on the environment. Our top priority is keeping you safe and connected, but we're environmental stewards as well. And part of keeping you safe is preserving our waters for future generations. So this is the instrument that we have deployed in the stream. It measures five key water quality indicators every 15 minutes. We've got pH, turbidity, water temperature, specific conductivity, dissolved oxygen, and pH. All of these water quality measurements are really important because they help us understand how the stream's health is impacted by stormwater runoff from NDOT's roads and maintenance facilities. This storage chest houses uh, some of the monitoring equipment that we have here at the Boynton Slough. Um, we operate this monitoring site in partnership with the Truckee Meadows Stormwater Permit Coordinating Committee, um, and they're responsible for the automated water sampler here. This automated water sampler collects uh, water samples that are delivered to the laboratory for analysis. This enclosure here houses the brains of our monitoring site. So the data logger here tells our sensors out in the water when to collect measurements and then records those measurements. Our cellular modem here allows us remote access to this site so that we can view the data remotely and we can change uh, our monitoring program from afar. Um, I love conducting the monitoring at this site because not only do I get to learn about the impacts of NDOT stormwater runoff on water quality, but I also get to know the overall health of waterways in the Truckee Meadows.